Good morning, day number three. Um, we had a bit of a nice gathering uh, last night with uh, the local town sheriff and uh, very exciting. Uh, uh, he knew a local metal detectorist um, and we met up with him. He's a very nice guy. And uh, we were talking about our finds and our history in this place. We, we've been here a couple of years and um, they uh, mentioned uh, explosives and material, uh, which we always uh, uh, reported, but we didn't uh, when we got here the first year. And uh, so now I'm back at, at a place where we found a, um, a, a grenade. And uh, back then I buried it back in the ground and kind of regretted that I did that. So we're back here and trying to find a grenade so we can mark it and report it and um, the town sheriff can deal with it. Yep, found it. There it is. A rifle grenade. When I first uh, found this, I can remember it was, wasn't that deep. It was about five centimeters deep, um, which mostly all the stuff in this area are. But I dug it very deep back then and I found it. Great. Excavator Eric just found this. I think it's um, uh, the front end of the set of binoculars. And I was looking for a, a little stamp, but I can't seem to find it. But very nice find. From this hole over here came uh, uh, a gas mask canister, but it was buried like this and it was open. So when I first got it out, I just laid it down and all these st all the stuff came out. Um, but because there, because it was open and there was water inside, this stuff has been very good. It's in very good condition, as you can see. The little lenses still have writing on them. Let me just get you in the sun there. Which is very cool. Never seen uh, writing on these lenses before. So nice find. Right next to the gas mask canister, there was this. It's uh, some sort of. Uh, um, what do you call it, to close a jerry can up. And um, it says Reinigungs oil schutten, which means uh, cleansing oil, a shake before use. Probably uh, some uh, oil to clean up weapons or something. But also a nice find. Just found this, and I know what it is because I found them before. Um, it's the top of a razor. The blade used to be in there, and there was the little rod attached to it, so the soldier could shave itself. Which um, I definitely need after three days in the woods here, but. Nice find, little top of a shaver. Every time we're here, we find a spoon. So there's one for you there. Spoons and spanners. Haven't been filming much, sorry about that. But I just keep finding not too best of stuff. Um, so I'll show it to you anyway, just a couple of tubes across the spanner, a couple of rusty bullets, a uh, piece of something, a little buckle which is, turns out to be pretty nice, uh, some sort of tent pack, um, but that's just about it. 
the good thing is that um, uh, we just got a call from the um, local metal detectorist we met last night. Uh, uh, he just said he could um, today he could get off work early, so we agreed to to, to meet up. Um, and we're going to. He's uh, he's free at four o'clock. But the cool thing is, and I've never did that before. He's got a really uh, a detector for very very deep detecting. I'm not sure what it's called in English. Uh, he calls it a teeth suga. Um, so it can go up to six meters uh, below ground, and he says he he's gonna find good stuff with it. He finds good stuff with it, helmets and, and well all those big uh, iron th stuff. And um, he uh, he uh, wants to take us with him. So uh, fingers crossed we can film that. He's a bit camera shy, but uh, well I hope we can at least film the finds. So that's gonna be a good uh, good uh, video to show you. Um, I'm gonna do some detecting uh, later on, and I hope to uh, to see you uh, at a at a good find. If not, I'll see you at uh, 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 at four o'clock when we go detecting with the local detectorist. So we're out here with the local metal detectorist. Doesn't want to be on video much, so I'm just gonna take some video and some some footage from a far distance and uh, his feet if he finds something. But it's a, it's a nice place, um, according to, uh, let's call him Frank, according to Frank it's uh, been a good place uh, so far, he's found a lot of good stuff, so uh, I'll see you at uh, my first find or his first find. So I'm at it like <laughs> two minutes, besides the big foxhole over there, let me just zoom out, and uh, this came out of a hole. Don't have to tell you guys what this is. This is a part of a Panzerfaust. You can see the the ignition uh, over there, the detonation uh, point. There is where you squeeze it so the so the the explosive uh, comes out. And here are the explosives. So we just called in uh, our uh, friend from uh, here and. Uh, he will help to get us in, to get it out. One and number two is here. And possibly number three, but I'm not sure it could be. Just a stone. Vergraben war oder? Tja, ich denke, das ist auch ein Fahrzeug. Ist. Ja, die graben die Tanks damals ein. Ne? Ja. Ich ging zu Franks Haus und er hat nur die Dinge gezeigt. Das ist ein, was ich nenne, ein Wasserfahrt. Ein K98 Rifle. In sehr, sehr pristine Kondition. At least für ein Find. Wow, great. And he also found, of course, helmets and uh, he's showing us uh, different stuff, but this is very cool. And he also found these, very big, very large. It says Wehrmacht and Waffen SS. And they're well the top of the barrels where the, they put the gasoline uh, in. Very cool finds. Day number four, it's our last day of metal detecting. We're leaving uh, this area tomorrow. And um, usually the, we do the best find on the last day, the best finds on the last day. So fingers crossed we are gonna find good stuff today. So we're at the spot we wanted to go to and um, just got a pair of new gloves for my bag. So hope they bring me uh, some luck. And I uh, really have to uh, apologize to you guys because um, uh, because of my constant sniffing. Um, I have this real bad hay fever in this time of year. Uh, I've taken my pills and also the ones against the hay fever, but it doesn't help much. So sorry about the sniffing. 
but beautiful place and there's my first find it's gonna be something gold and beautiful right over there so there it is first find and it's not gold but it's well not bad either look very big I don't know what caliber this is really don't and um, there's hardly any writing on the back you can see let me just get you into the light there and zoom in a little so if there's no writing at all it's probably Russian very cool find Just found this, and it's a real genuine. I don't know. I have no idea. Could be modern. Something the the foresters use here. I came back at the uh, where I found the Panzer badge. Exactly the same spot. Didn't do it very good afterwards. So I told Eric, come on man, let's get back there. Same hole, there was the Panzer badge. Now this pops up. And I hope you guys see what it is. Um, I, I hope, I really hope this is what I think it is. I think it's a buckle. And I'm just gonna clean it up and get back to you. Yeah, it is a buckle. Fortunately, not in the best of state. But if you take a real close look at it, you can see the the ring around it, and the I think that's an eagle. So I pulled out the buckle over there, and there was the the leather was still attached to it. It went all the way here. And there are the leather parts. Also this big part with a little iron button on there. And um, well, except for the leather, there's nothing much in here anymore. But excavator Eric was over there and he found this. It's a magazine, as you can see, but very corroded and it, uh, I think it broke in half and I'm not sure what type this is but very nice find After the um, uh, buckle, which was somewhere over here, I went over here and there was a, a coin here, and there was a coin here, and there was a coin here, and they were all one rice phoenix. But still, in, I'm, I'm very excited because there's more in this. Let me just put it on. Ah, oh, come on, you just. Yeah. Here. There's still a signal there. I'm not good at it, but let's try. Let's do, just do a little live dig. It has to be here. It's out of the hole. Where is it? Yep, there it is. No gold, but still a nice find. Another Rijksvennis coin, I think. It's very hard to tell, it's very corroded. Excavator Eric just found this. Something nice to 
you look up on the internet. My French is horrible, so I'm not even gonna try and read it out. So we're back in the forest with um, Frank this time. As you can see, he took us to a place where the the trees are very, very, very close to uh, to each other. But uh, he says it's a good spot. He found a um, uh, an machine gun here once, and um, we're not gonna find that, uh, unfortunately. At least I don't think so, uh, because he found it with his uh, deep metal detecting equipment, and it was about uh, two meters deep. And my Garrett is not gonna go that deep, so um, uh, hopefully we will find uh, something other cool or smaller stuff, or an MG lying on the surface, but whatever. I'll see you at the first find. Working this area right here. He's found loads of personal items. So tubing, toothpaste, just a toothbrush and a comb. That's what came out this tent pack. And as you can see here it says on the right side, 40 and then just try and clean it up for you. Frank and I have been at it at uh, quite some time now at this hole, still the same place and we got all this out to uh, pocket knives which are very in very bad shape. Of course the comb, the toothpaste also a uh, part of uh, some sort of cloth and um, in this part is actually inside the pocket is a well little container part of it and there's also almost got uh, some uh, uh, Part of a cleaning kit. This is the uh, little oil container. Oh, nice find. Also, this came out. Water cup or drinking cup. It's uh, German. No name underneath. But I'm taking this one with me. It's a nice find. So that was day number four, uh, we've had it, we've been in the woods with uh, our local, local dicker Frank, it was a very good spot, we will be back there, but um, we've shown you the finds uh, and that's just about what we found, just some buttons and uh, uh, personal stuff. Um, so that's it for day four. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon in another video. Um, we'll be back here for sure. Perhaps on the, uh, the end of the year or I don't know, next year. We'll see. I'll video it if you uh, like it enough, if, you, uh, if, if I uh, get views enough. If not, you won't be seeing me ever on YouTube again. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Come on, get in!